Hi everyone, welcome back to the series. Um, first of all, I got new lighting. Um, I look very pale, but it looks better, I think. And yeah, this is review number, what are we up to already? Three. And of course it's duty. Check the back. And I know I said I was gonna make these shorter and last one was longer than my first one. So I'm gonna try, I'm basically gonna, I'm still gonna say like, what category I put the song into but like if I don't have much to say about the song I'm just going to move on and then I'm going to spend more time with my overall thoughts and like the scoring so yeah let's get right into it um track number one the introduction starting over um I really like this as an intro it has like really I don't even describe like a weird voice but I like it like it's different and it stands out I, like, I remember this intro and there's some IU vocals in there and we love it um but yeah, overall, I say I like this intro. It's a solid intro. And this is the only instrumental on the album, so that's a good one. All right, next we have the title track, Duty. Um, Okay, I feel like a lot of people love this track. I like it. I will say there's some live performances of it that I love it, where they add more elements with like background vocals and like a, I don't know, like a fuller orchestra sound. Uh, like, I do like... The, like, like this sounds like nothing like I was ever done before, like especially up to this album. I I don't like to use this word it's like overused, but like it really has like an epic like like scale to it. And yeah, I do like I I don't love her vocals on it. I'm gonna be honest, which I think is why I kind of like her lives a bit more, like when like more like in the middle of her career. But overall, yeah, I like Duty. Um, definitely stands out. It's memorable, so I like it for that aspect. So yeah, we like Duty. All right, next is Vogue. Um, this is the first, so I should mention like this, the track was for this album like pretty short, you can see there's, it's hard to see, there's 12 tracks which is like small for her and there was only three singles released prior to release this album and they were released together as a trilogy so Vogue is like the first of the trilogy and I love it, it's really fun, um, I can't work here my notes. Oh, the structure of it's kind of different for her. Um, like it opens up with a chorus and then it's kind of like verses and we don't, we get like two choruses at the end of the song, which is different and I do like it. And yeah, the instrumental is like really different as well for her. Like she definitely can tell was like experimenting with sounds for this album and yeah, I love the classic song, love it. All right, next is End of the World. This is more of like a standard rock song, pop rock song. So this is more of a standard IU song. Overall, I like it. Um, once again, I don't love her vocals in this song. I think she was was doing some more vocally demanding songs for this album. And you know, I like to see her tackle those, but I think her vocals in this stage in her life are still growing and developing. And Another World is another song where there are a live performance of it, like where I like enjoy the song more. But the album version of the song, I just like it. Um, the vocals aren't that great. The lyrics aren't that memorable to me and I don't know. It's it's a type of song she's done before and I think she has better pop rock songs. So I feel like another one song my favorite. All right, next is Scar. This is our first like ballad of the album. And I do love this song. Um, once again, it has like a weird intro and like just like experimenting with different sounds. So I'd love to hear that. And I don't know, I don't know what she was say. I'm just gonna move on. Just, I, I don't know, I love Scar. Like if you haven't listened to it, I haven't listened to it. All right, next is Far Away. This is another one of the trilogy songs. And this is definitely my favorite. I think this is an Empress Tear song. Once again, starts with like a weird, like, I don't know how to describe it, like a weird vocal, but like not I use vocal, like a man speaking or like a sound effect and kind of like, when I listen to like with headphones, like it goes from like ear to ear and just really interesting sounding. Like it was like once again, like nothing that sounds exactly like it. And the lyrics are very like melodramatic, like summer love. And for some reason when I listen to this song, like, I always imagine like are you like out at sea somewhere? <laughs> I don't know why. I mean she does talk about like the beach, so maybe that's why. But um yeah, I love Far Away Empress here to me. I think it's the best of the trilogy. Alright, next we have Surreal. I do love this song, but I'm gonna say this is another one. I think everyone knows Surreal. A lot of people praise this as being one of her best songs ever. For me personally. It's, I don't think it's her best. I, I do love the song, but I don't think it's Empress here. It's definitely a staple. Like I, every time she performs it live, I, you know, I enjoy listening to it, but 
I don't know. I feel like it's another one, like, it's definitely within her real house. Like, it's another kind of, like, pop rock with, like, synth and electronic sounds to it. And I feel like she has other songs in that vein that are better, but I still love Surreal Over One. It's a solid track. It's definitely, like, a must-listen. All right, next we have Audience. Um, this is my favorite song on the album. This is definitely Empress Tear for me. I love it. I just think this is... Okay, so... Audience like, is the only song on this album that sounds like it could have been maybe from like Love Appears era and I, I think I love that because like personally like, that's more the style I enjoy like I love more like dance, techno, electro like influence songs so I love Audience, I love the lyrics, how it's spelled I was singing about her audience and about her fans and it's kind of like a first song really like that like we will see more songs in the future where she kind of directs, directly talks to her audience but this is like the first one where she's that's why it's called audience, because she's talking to her audience, and yeah, just Empress Tear for me, like, possibly, I think it is, like, my favorite IU single ever, which I know is, like, an unpopular opinion, but I just love it, like, it's just so fun. Okay, next we have Seasons, another very well-known song from IU, another one of the, well, this is the final song within the trilogy. Um, I do love it, um, not my favorite, I would say, out of the three trilogy songs is probably my least favorite but it's still I still love it like it's still a great ballad still a classic like I'm sure you know seasons like yeah like I I can see why it's so popular especially with the general public um yeah we love seasons all right next is teddy bear we're almost on this album we're already on track number 10 out of 12 um teddy bear is another ballad and this is another empress tier track for me I will be honest the first time I heard this album I heard teddy bear I was kind of like it was almost like a skip. I was just kind of like, okay. Cause it's just, it's a very, very stripped back ballad for IU. It's literally just piano and her vocals. And at first that like didn't do it for me. Cause I literally like grander songs from her. But the lyrics for this song. Um, so I used to want to like always come out on Drag Race. Like what her lyrics really mean. She kind of likes the audience to interpret them in their own way. And like relate them to their own lives. But it's like pretty much agreed upon that this song is about her father. We don't know if Ayu's father did leave her and her mother, like, walk out of their lives when she was only three years old. And this is kind of talking about how she was recalling that night when her father said she was going to, you know, go away and he'll be back and bring her back a present, a teddy bear. And now all she has left is the teddy bear and her father is gone out of her life. So it's a very personal song for Ayu. And I do think the actual like melodies is very, very beautiful. And I appreciate how shit back, like it is now because she doesn't have too many songs like that. So yeah, Teddy Bear, amazing Empress Tear for me. All right, next song is Key, Eternal Thai version. Um, if you're wondering, this is the original version. She does that a couple of times where she like, like give a special title to a song, but it's just the original title. It's just the original song. Um, I like this song. <laughs> I don't, it doesn't, it's not something that like I'll go to out of my way to listen to, but if I'm listening to the album duty, like definitely like it. I definitely won't skip it. Enjoy listening to it. Um, let me write it down here real quick. Um, oh, this is like the shortest song in her discography at this point. Like it's almost only like three minutes, and most of her songs are like four or five minutes. So I don't know. I just thought that was interesting. That it was so short. Maybe that's why I don't love it as much. I kind of like when she builds, especially with ballads, because this is a slower song. But um. Yeah, not too much to say about Key, I, I like it. All right, our last song, Girlish. All right, this song, okay. Um, I love the title, I think that's a sort of like, girlish, like I love that as a title, but this song, okay. <laughs> it's a live band recording, which is the only time she's ever done this, meaning she went into the studio, recorded her vocals, and it was done in one take, like they did not, do any editing or processing to her vocals, to the instruments or anything. Like it was like a live recording within the studio. Like they didn't do anything to it. So I think that's interesting. Do I think she benefited from that? I don't know. Cause once again, I feel like in this era, her vocals are still very much developing. We'll see like in a couple albums, they really get a lot stronger. So right now for this song, her vocals for me really weren't doing it for me. And also, and so the last song was like short and sweet, which I, you know, might, might enjoy that, but this one's like too long, I feel like, because 
Like the last, it's like four minutes long. Let me see if it says how long it is. No. I think it's like four minutes long, but like the last like two and a half minutes, it's just like la la. Like it, it's, first of all, there's these men, I guess, I don't know if they're just random backup singers or like her band members, but there's just like these men like singing. Like, I don't want to hear these men like just going la 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 la. Like, I no, I don't want to hear that. And like, like two and a half minutes of literally just that. And it's like, instrumentals and like are you joined to the la 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 so i'm just like i don't know i don't like it like i i skipped this song this is a skip for me like it's the one song that like just i feel like should not be on this album i don't know maybe if it was like edited and trimmed down where it wasn't just like two and a half minutes of this kind of like annoyingness for me i would enjoy it but it's a skip all right and on that note we're through the album and we talk about overall thoughts. Um, so yeah, Duty is definitely like an essential IU album still. Like you, if you haven't heard this album from start to finish, you definitely should. It definitely feels much more of a mature effort than her first two albums, which were definitely just in line with like dance and pop music. Where this is, I feel like she experimented with different sounds and different genres within the pop field. So. I do appreciate that, but I think because of that, it doesn't feel as cohesive as her previous efforts. Whereas like her first album felt like, you know, 90s J-pop, second one felt like very like techno dance pop. This feels kind of just like a little bit all over the place, which I don't know, it has its pros and cons. Like on the plus side, you get different sounds with almost every song. The cons for me is like when I, I don't know, I don't ever get into like a mood like, oh, I want to listen to this album because it's like, I feel like I listen to each song on this album for different reasons, if that makes sense. Um, as I said, like, her vocals on this album, I don't know why, like, it sounded to me more on this album than her previous two albums, where, like, they weren't the best. I think it's because she was trying some more vocally challenging songs, and I don't know. So, sometimes she didn't always hit the mark for me in, in terms, like, of vocal ability for, on this album. Um... But as I said, it's still a staple album. There are some of her biggest hits. Like if you haven't heard like Surreal or like any of the children's songs like Vogue or Seasons or Far Away, like those are all essential staples songs. Like, you should listen to them. And like I said, Audience is like my personal favorite IU single of all time. So definitely listen to that. Um, and I'll go over my five, top five songs in order of like from my favorite to my least favorite and I'll give the score. So my favorite is... I've said already the audience. Um, next is Teddy Bear. Then we have Far Away. And then I have Vogue. And for my fifth song, I have fifth song, I have Surreal. That's my top five, which is almost half the album because there's only like 11 full songs on it. But yeah. So overall, I would give this an 8.75 out of 10. And because I think it's very solid, I do appreciate that it sounds a bit more mature than the previous albums. But I think once again, as we, like, I feel like this is kind of just showing like how much room she has to grow as an artist and just makes me like excited to hear more from her. And yeah, that's Duty. I think it's a very great album. I don't think it's her best. I don't think it's like amazing, you know, God tier level, but I do think it's a great album and definitely worth a listen to. And yeah, that's basically all I have to say. See you next time.